time now for a look at your health to juice or not to juice. People have strong opinions about this diet. Proponents say it's a healthy way to lose weight. Opponents say it can actually be dangerous. So here to sort this all out and give us the pros and cons of juicing is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thank you for being here. Always good to be here. So how is juicing different from say getting a smoothie? Well, way different. When you get a smoothie, you're basically not having very much fresh food and you're also having yogurt and ice cream put into it. So it's going to taste great. It'll be a little bit healthy, but pretty fattening. So explain then what juicing is. Juicing is when you take a vegetable or fruits, could be apples, carrots, kale, and you actually try to compress it or break it down so that only the juice is coming out. And it's a pretty good thing. You get a lot of the vitamins. But the most important thing with juicing, if you want to get the most vitamins out of it, you've really got to drink the juice within 20 or 30 minutes. If you leave juice open to the air, even within a few hours, it's going to break down the vitamins, and you're only going to get about 50% of the potency. So it's not something you can store in the fridge and, and do later. Well, no. how long has this been around? Because the craze, you know, you see all the infomercials for juicers seems to be really in hyperspeed, but has it been around for a well, while? Well, it really has. One of my patients heard that I was doing this and so Saul brought me this book and this book is a Jack LaLanne book my and my. Jack LaLanne's been around <laughs> he's been juicing since the 1950s since I was born and so juicing's been around a, a long time what's changed is the equipment that they're using okay so now juicers are no longer these 60 pound massive things that are in your kitchen they're very easy to use types of uh, pieces of equipment. So there was a new British study that came out in terms of the long-term health effects. What were the results? The results are that if you juice a lot, you're going to take in more calories, you're not going to feel as full, and so you actually can gain, uh, gain weight. Also, mm -hmm. if you try to juice in fasting, it's really, really hard. You're going to screw up your insulin levels. You're not going to really lose the fat. And then the, the biggest problem is for those that juice and diet, you gain the weight right back on. So it's not the best way to do things. And then for those that juice a lot, especially with things like beets, you know, beware when you look at you go number one or number two, it's going to look way different colors and you're going to think you have cancer or something. So if you're <laughs> juicing with beets, you got to be very careful because things are going to change. Similar, if you juice with carrots, you can actually turn your skin orange. And orange might be a nice look. Yeah. But, uh, if you're on Jersey Shores, but maybe not here. <laughs> no, not Let's here. check out some tips that you can give to our viewers, though. If you are going to juice, you have some tips and guidelines of how you should go about well, it. Well, most of the important things are up on there. It's like you have to drink your juice fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. You basically um, only want to juice maybe once a day. And then if you're going to juice, I don't know if it's up here because I can't see that far. But uh, Keep you know, the pulp. Keep the pulp because pulp is actually good and you can use it in other things or in other types of recipes. But you need your pulp. You know, eating an apple is better than juicing an apple because it's going to help your digestive system as well. All right. So even this in moderation. Everything in moderation. All right. Kathleen. That's the, the golden rule. Well, Except thank you our so wonderful much. weather. <laughs> yeah. Always great to see you. Good to see you. Dr. Too. Mitchell Goldman, we'll send it over to you.